Hello and welcome to this week's Pastor Capture. I'm Pastor Steve. This is Pastor Ivy and Pastor Tammy. And we always like to take this opportunity each week to just kind of reflect on this past Sunday. You can always uh, go back and watch those services online uh, if you like. But we'd like to just give you a little snippet of that now and invite you to come and be part of our worship on this coming Sunday. So this past week, uh, we launched into our new series mm -hmm. called Justice or Just Us. Us. It was perfect timing for Martin Luther King weekend. Right. And uh, we focus this week on the passage in Luke's Gospel, Luke 10, uh, the Good Samaritan, mm -hmm. where the... 25 to 37. Yes. The Good Samaritan. But it begins with that person who's an expert in the law. An expert. Tries yeah, right. to test Jesus. What must I do to inherit uh -huh. eternal life? And uh, mm -hmm. I was in the modern and Ivy was in the traditional services. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tammy was singing at the traditional service at nine. Oh my God, superb, yeah. superb. I didn't sing by myself, just so everybody knows. It was a cappella. I was one of the beautiful singers. So four, to uh, our all singers. Four, it was a quartet. Quartet of the women singers here. Mm -hmm. I was in a modern and uh, I did a little different than normal. I had 42 slides. Then if that 42. intrigues you, go check it out. Yes. 42. Uh, teaching sermon. Teaching sermon about means balance. It can be done. It can yeah. be done. You didn't have 43. You didn't have too many. No, 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 no. Yeah. We cut, yeah. It, cut it off at 42. But check it out. Hey, tell me what you think. Tell me what, it's, it's a teaching sermon. My goal it is. was to just set the stage for what is justice? You know, we're going in this series for justice. Right. And so often I think we as Christians don't really understand that justice is a part of what it means to be a Christian, to do justice, as it says in Micah. That was our mm -hmm. other passage. Mm -hmm. right. um, but I love, love, love Pastor Ivy's sermon and the whole worship experience. I love uh, just how you brought out um, what it looks like. I love the story I like about that. I love the story about your dad being a good Samaritan oh, and taking, uh, hitchhiker. taking people. Yeah, and, and how the and how they woke up and yeah. the hitchhiker. Oh, was my driving. sister! It's our it's our fa one of our favorite family <laughs> stories of my dad just always, you know, pushing stuff out the seat and picking yeah. up somebody and being that yeah. that spirit of when somebody's in need to help. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I thought it was very uh, pointed, Ivy, that you named all the types of people that God loves, and then you had said, you said, no, I'm just going to say it, that we don't love. That we don't. <laughs> yeah, that we don't <laughs> don't want to say it, but we don't love them. You know? Yeah, um, yeah, that's our goal, is to love like, like, like God loves us, mm -hmm. you know, as much as we can, mm -hmm. and wherever we are in the process, to extend ourselves a little bit more, a little bit more, until we get there, until yeah. we get there. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a reason why the Samaritan is called good, is because he went a little further, mm -hmm. you know, than just the bandage and the oil and, you know, what, what's a little further is picking him up, putting him in the car, mm -hmm. taking him to the Holiday Inn, getting him a room. And a little further is to come back and say, you know what, if he needs anything else, mm -hmm. you know, so, right. yeah. Right. yeah. And we are those certain people. We're yes. certain people. Certain we are certain people. people. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I both referenced the um, um, Rosa Parks. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Pastor Steve put this all together for me, and, and I, I said that you gave me the um, seminary words that I hadn't used oh, in, yes. in that years. Was hilarious. <laughs> that was fine. Uh, after I'm looking at your message, I'm thinking, okay. Professor, professor, <laughs> professor Stoltz Costello is what I'm, what I'm thinking. That's right. I mean, you, you laid out for them um, how many layers, and that's what I really liked about that whole chart and that graph, is how many layers it is in order to do justice. Mm -hmm. There is a lot. It's not just a simple thing, and we don't have any idea of where we come in. So it's a growth process. Mm. You know, if you're doing acts of compassion, acts of mercy, um, you know, all these different mm. ways that come in to be justice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a text message on Sunday afternoon from uh, one of our members, Jill Kilpeck, and I really appreciate it. She said, you know, she appreciated that. Uh, so often we think when we do think about justice, we think of uh, the, the leading marches and being very, very out front. And uh, mm -hmm. and that's that's certainly a powerful way to, to do to do justice. Mm -hmm. But she appreciated I gave the example. I said, you know, if I were living in the 1950s when Rosa Parks did that. Right. I can just imagine being at a coffee shop with some buddies and some of them critiquing in a way that, you know, saying, who is this person that's 
breaking the law mm -hmm. and if those people would just stay in their oh, place. Yeah. yeah, it would be the, the total news of the day. Right. I mean, it would be the biggest thing. Do you right. know what happened down in Montgomery? This lady thinks she can get on the bus and just ride anywhere right. and, you know, would just filter out that way. Yeah. And would I speak up or would I just roll along with it? You yeah. know? Or would I have right. even the capacity to see that that's a, a valid way for somebody to have courage, as Rosa Parks did, to try to change the system? Now, what are we blind to today, in other words? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you when know. are we that Levite that just walks by? When are we, you know, yeah. the priest yeah. that just walks by? It, 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 we vacillate. Mm -hmm. We do. We vacillate. But the goal is to try to be good, to yeah. try to be that good Samaritan when we can. Well, that's enough about our worship. Go watch it. Uh, watch mm -hmm. Ivy's. If you got time, you can watch mine and see all about that. But uh, tell us a little bit on Sunday for so Sunday school. So the children, um, are, we hopped back to our uh, Celebrate Wonder curriculum, and they talked about Jesus being the fisher of men and how he um, you know, found his disciples to come alongside. They actually got to play with the... Uh, some fish and not any water, but yeah, mm -hmm. they did a little fishing. Um, <laughs> and this Sunday they're going to talk about love yeah. and yeah. how uh, yeah. Jesus loved everyone. So um, yeah, that's what that's what's happening there. Wow. You know, mm -hmm. I can't help it, Tammy. When <laughs> and I heard you mention this last week as well, uh, that passage, which is in most of the translations says fishers of men, but in the NRSV, it's just fishers of people. Oh. Oh, that's good. I like that better. Oh, yeah. And you know me. I'm all about inclusion. I, mean, I was a little surprised here. So. I am kind of surprised I said that. Fishers of people. But, <laughs> but, but what's interesting, what's interesting, and this is an important point, I think, because a lot of and I remember in my first church in Ohio, I, I read it that way, and there was some kickback, and, the, and it got framed as... The, the assumption was that I cared more about political correctness than I did about biblical correctness. Oh. And the truth is in that mm. passage that the, the Greek is not gender specific. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we're going to really be faithful to the See? scripture. Yep. Professor yep. <laughs> Sols Costello. <laughs> Always teaching us. Always teaching us. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> What's happening this coming Sunday? We got our second week in this series. So we're Recognizing dissonance. Mm. Dissonance. Dissonance. So there's a big That's word for you. That's fun to say. Professor. Dissonance. <laughs> Recognizing dissonance and um, some of the passages there I remember as a part, was it in Galatians? Slaves Galatians, be Ephesians, and then one in Matthew. Okay. Yeah, about being obedient and um, um, not, not, neg not negating. Is that how we do that? Not negating what you know is right to do. Mm. What is pleasing in the, the sight of the Lord? Yeah, it's, it's. I think it's an example of sometimes in Scripture where you read read one thing here and you read another thing over here, and they don't seem to agree. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. in the one passage, it says uh, there is no Greek, there is no Gentile, mm -hmm. there is no slaves, and then in this other one, it says slaves be obedient to your master. Right. You know, in the one, it's you know, it's it's, dis, it's dismantling all these divisions, mm -hmm. and we're all mm -hmm. children of God equal. And the other is really emphasizing sort of these places. So, yeah, I hope and, that, uh, and in the Greek and in the original text, meaning the slaves is not necessarily how we in the United States and in America and in our history believe of how it was used. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, to to temperament the the slave actions, but we are all slaves. Yeah. When it comes to Christ being our master gotcha. and controlling our lives. The text is meaning be obedient to your master, which should be the Lord. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. We'll come out on Sunday. Watch us online. Um, we'd love, love, love to continue to get to know you better. Um, I want to invite you even, if you're watching this, we're getting, I think, 60, 70 folks on average. Um, I want to, I'd love to connect more. Put, put something in the comments. Say if you like this. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us what you think justice means. Let's have some dialogue mm -hmm. in the uh, pastor capture video there. I'd love to see yes. some exchange there. But in any case, this Sunday, 9 o'clock modern. Pastor Ivy will be preaching at the Modern Service. First time mm -hmm. to be back in Modern since November. Back, back. So that'll be awesome. I'll be in traditional. <laughs> uh, you can always live stream at 9 or 11. Uh, 9 is Modern, 11 is traditional. But I hope you'll come out. We'd love to just uh, meet you in person and mm -hmm. welcome you and uh, continue to build the body of Christ. So please like, share, and do all those things to spread the word. Thank you for watching this week's Pastor, Pastor Capture. Capture.